everyone, Chad here with Arben Farm. So today I finished up installing our Alico Dual Swing Solar Powered Gate Opener. Now our gate is located probably about 200 feet away from our nearest power source. So instead of going for a running the conduit under the ground, we decided to go with a solar powered option. Overall, I love how the gate turned out, but there are a few things that took me a little bit longer to try and figure out and install that I think would have been helpful to know beforehand. So in today's video, I want to show you guys kind of what I did and put together, and that might help you guys install your Alico gates a little bit faster as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the gate and the installation. Let's start with the setup. We decided to go with the dual swing gate option because we had about 16 feet of space to span, so we went with two 8-foot panels. The Alico AS900 solar power option worked really well for that. So we've got two pneumatic gate openers options here, and then we put the control box right over here about 8 feet away and then mount our solar panels just past that. What you see from Alico is exactly what they show in the picture. You do not receive any of the required wiring, solar panel connectors, or the solar panel mounts. We found that most of these items you need are available online at Home Depot or Lowe's. We found two options that you can go with for connecting your solar panels to your battery. First option is you can just pick up the MC4 male-female connector kits along with your wire, or you can actually pick up the branch connectors to wire your solar panels in parallel along with then the adapter kit cables that end in the bare wire. The next thing that you're going to need is your black sprinkler wire and this is with the five wires inside of it. Then of course your wire nuts and then a voltage tester if you don't already have one. You'll also need the Z brackets which you can purchase off Alico and then because we had four solar panels to mount we went with a slotted angle and sheet metal screws to build a larger mounting bracket. The final thing you'll need are two sets of your battery connector cables as well as an assortment of nuts, bolts, and washers to connect them to your batteries. One of the things that I wish they would have made a little bit more clear with the setup or in the instructions on the installation of your solar panels in your battery is exactly how to wire them. With your solar panels, you're going to want to wire those into parallel, and then with your battery, you're going to want to wire that into series. So you can see that I've got my four 30-watt solar panels wired together in parallel, and they run down to the battery right here. And then the battery I put into series by connecting one of the positive terminals to the negative terminal. Then over here on the other positive and negative terminal, I have these running to the control box. You can see you've got the solar panel wires coming in and then the battery wires going out. In the instructions they showed to wire it with the load going over to the control panel, but I confirmed with the Alico tech support that you do not use the load um, screws right here. So you have the battery, and the solar are the only two options that you're using off this controller. And again, make sure to wire your battery into series so you're getting 24 volts coming off of it and not just 12. Let's go ahead and take a look at the control panel now and one of the tips that I wish I would have known ahead of time. So I mounted it to my fence post here and when you plug in each of the wires, you've got the two sides here that they plug into these two plastic connection pieces. On the bottom of those plastic connection pieces are actually the metal screws that tighten it down. And I couldn't find or figure out why that I, I wasn't getting a very good connection and they were kind of shorting out or they weren't connecting at all. Well, it turns out what you have to do is you actually have to remove these plastic pieces before you install it. So just pop them straight out. And then on the bottom of that, you'll flip it over, undo the terminals that you're going to put wires into so that they open up and then put your wires into them, tighten them back down. Then you can fold them back over and insert them. The uh, other thing that you want to make sure with a voltmeter then Test what voltage you're getting off of your wires right here. It should be about 24 volts. So if you've wired your batteries into the series, then you're gonna have 24 volts coming here. And then you know that your controller is ready to go because you've got the flashing red lights here. We mounted our solar panels directly onto the 4x4s in the fence post to give it a nice solid base. Now one thing we didn't realize when we ordered it was that Alico does not automatically include the mounting hardware and posts for these solar panels. So what we did was a little ingenuity. We were able to create a new mounting system with some 4x4s and some metal railing. And it actually makes a really nice and solid base. So you can see that we've got them mounted at a 45 degree angle. They're pointing due south, which is what's recommended up here in Oregon. And then we've got our battery box that's just below it. And then our control panel about eight feet away over there. We love our new automatic gate opener. It makes it so much easier coming and going from the property. And having the solar setup works really well. This makes it so that we can actually have this automatic gate where we don't have to run underground wiring all the way from our nearest power source, which is about 200 feet away. 
Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video on how to install the Alico dual swing gate opener. Check out our other videos and for now, so long from our Ben Farm.